you know, this really pisses me off, right? That this young man had to plead guilty to this case. Um, now, Jalen was involved in the street racing incident, right? But he didn't hit the pole. And in his car, no one died. He didn't even hit the car that hit the pole. The dude driving the other car hit the pole. He died. But see, he's black, right? He's an African-American. And there's this thing with Georgia, whereas Georgia laws are fixed to efficiently prosecute any African-American for any fucking thing they do. If they pop gum in a bank, they're going to jail. Everything about Georgia is set up to send African-Americans to jail. The whole purpose, the whole reason why white boys go to law school to become prosecutors is to put black people in jail. They have no other reason for doing that shit. And they proved it. They proved it. Not in the efficiency of how quickly this young man was criminalized. Right? For doing shit that white boys do all the time. White boys street race all the fucking time. None of that shit even makes the news because they're not arrested the same way we are. They're not even charged the same way we are. Had this been a little white boy from a little Christian academy, this shit would have been handled as a traffic incident. It would have been handled as a traffic ticket. But being that he is an African-American athlete with the potential of going to the NFL in the first round, you know, white white people we're gonna you're gonna slowly begin to realize how much they hate us especially when there's a degree of success attached to us they really fucking hate us especially when you're exceptional or there's something about you exceptional fucking hate us right how dare this nigga go to the nfl we're gonna make sure we send him there with a stain we had a case here in louisiana right where a uh, LSU player, whom name I will not mention because I don't even want to attach him to the bullshit no more, was investigated because a girl he dated four girlfriends ago turned up dead. A little white girl turned up dead four girlfriends ago. And this boy was on his way to the NFL in the first round. In the first round. And raced his ass baton rouge police right a police department that has they who have officers who have gone on record as hating african americans a, a, a police department that has been investigated for affiliations with the kkk right dragged this young man name through the mud right before draft day see there's something about white cops and black football players especially the ones that are on their way to the NFL. There is something about these, this hateful maggot ass group of cops that hones in and tries to really piss on all of the hard work and dreams. These young men, made. you know, did he make a mistake in what he was doing? Yes. But why can't we get treated? Why can't when our kids make mistakes, our kids are not treated like white kids when their kids make mistakes. Right. Their shit is treated as real mistakes. Oh, that was just the boys being the boys. Whenever it's white boys doing shit, that was just the boys being the boys. That's why they got so many white men running around this this country thinking they could kill their wife and get away with it. Because since the time the motherfuckers was toddlers, they've gotten away with everything. They've they've always gotten away with shit. White boys have never been held accountable. That's why you have a, a, a piece of shit named Donald Trump who thinks he can call into the Georgia Bureau of Elections and rig some shit in real time. Talking about he only needs 11,000 votes and I need y'all to go find me. Even though we don't, nobody in this motherfucker voted for him. And in, in the whole city of Atlanta, I need y'all to go find me 11,000 votes. The reason why white men think they could do that shit is because they're never held accountable. But your child, your African-American child, has to be on their best behavior all the time. Listen to me, black football parents. Don't you confuse the applause from these white hands in these stadiums as acceptance of your child because the first time your kid sneezes, 
These white motherfuckers want to get them with a felony. That's the whole goal. That's the whole purpose. And this child who have never been in trouble, his name has never been associated with any kind of crimes. His parents did the best job they could do at keeping their child out of a system. This young man made one mistake in a moment of joy and celebration. You know, all of us have done something stupid. All of us have fucked up. But this young man, you know, we when we fucked up, that shit didn't make the news and didn't stop us from getting jobs and didn't hinder us. This young man made one mistake. One mistake in his life. And the white motherfuckers were there to make sure it stays on his record. He had to plead guilty to avoid jail time and some shit he didn't even do. He didn't even fucking kill anybody. But Trump, you investigate Trump for some shit that he actually did. And the state the racist ass white people in Georgia are currently trying to stop an African-American prosecutor from prosecuting a white criminal of actual fucking criminal. Because how dare a nigger prosecute a white boy for some shit that he actually did when we have these racist ass white people prosecuting us for shit we didn't even do. This boy ain't even fucking kill anybody. And he had to plead guilty. Stop assuming they love your child because they're clapping for him. Let him fuck up and they're going to quickly remind you they don't fuck with you. 